Welcome to the first session of Automata Theory Building a Regex Machine class, where we talk about state machines, formal grammars, and to implement a regular expression processor based on the finite automata. To reiterate the introduction video, this class is not about how to use regular expressions. You should already know what a regular expression is and to actively use it in practice. This class is rather about how to implement the regular expressions. Uh, which might be not a trivial task and uh, require certain amount of computer science theory and uh, applying different data structures and algorithms on practice. Before diving into the implementation of a regular expression machines, uh, we should discuss this needed amount of theory devoted to the formal grammars and uh, finite automata. Today we start our discussion from the regular expression history and uh, we'll talk about computer science pioneers who were behind the invention and uh, adoption of the regular expressions and uh, state machines. So let's begin. The regular expressions originated in 1951, when mathematician Stephen Kleene described regular languages, using his mathematical notation called regular sets. This arose in theoretical computer science, in the subfields of the automata theory and uh, the description and classification of formal languages. A regular language can be defined as a language recognized by the finite automata. The terms finite automata and state machines are used interchangeably and uh, we'll be covering them in greater details during this course. The equivalence of the regular expressions and finite automata is known as the Kleene's theorem. By the way, the well-known star operator, uh, which stands for repetition of a pattern zero or more times, is known as the Kleene star or the Kleene closure operator, uh, as we will see further in this class. Later on, in 1956, Noam Chomsky, known as the father of the modern linguistics, defined his well-known Chomsky hierarchy of formal grammars. In particular, the regular languages are defined by the languages generated by the type 3 or the regular grammars in this Chomsky hierarchy. Running forward, we should say that the regular grammars are the weakest possible formal grammars, uh, which stay right below the context-free grammars, uh, which are used for parsing programming languages. What this means, in general it's not possible, or at least very hard, to parse a programming language using just regular expressions. But uh, let's get back to the regex history. And almost 12 years later, the famous Unix hacker Ken Thompson made the regular expressions popular. Uh, by applying them in two practical problems. The pattern matching, that is the string search with uh, regular expressions, and the lexical analysis, that is implementing scanners or tokenizers modules in parsing programming languages. And uh, since then, the regular expressions became widely used in Unix, uh, text editors, and uh, today almost in every programming language. For implementation, Thompson used exactly the fine automata. His construction became one of the canonical and is known as the Thompson construction. Uh, running forward, we should also say uh, that the regex implementation based on the state machines is one of the fastest implementation, and uh, that's why it's still widely used in practice. Uh, for example, parser generator tools, such as Bison, uh, use it when building tokenizer modules. Uh, so in this course, in implementing a regular expression machine, uh, we're going to make the same journey as these three gentlemen. We'll start from the discussion of the formal grammars, uh, considering the theoretical aspects of Kleene and Chomsky, and uh, then gradually move into the finite automata theory, building a regex machine based on NFAs and DFAs, uh, that is, non-deterministic and deterministic finite automata. During the course, we'll also have a practical part, and so you'll be proposed to actually implement a regular expression machine. It's not required, although highly recommended, since only applying the theoretical aspects on practice uh, makes our understanding of the topic complete. Besides, the implementation of a regex machine is a pretty advanced engineering task and uh, touches a lot of different data structures and algorithms. So, implementing such a machine will definitely make you a better engineer. With this being said, let's get started from the very basic concepts known as symbols, strings and alphabets. That is what regular expressions actually recognize and uh, which we'll be discussing in the next video.